In this video, we're going to be looking at how to open a file within Excel using uh, the folder picker. Now, it's super easy to do this, especially if you have the file path. It's actually easy to do it if you're using the folder picker. But what fun is that? So I'm going to show you how to open a file, go and grab some data from that file, add a new sheet, and then take that data from the file that you just opened and put that in the original file. So that's a lot more fun. Uh, you'll learn a little bit more on the in the process. And so let's go ahead and dig in and get that done. So here's the first code that we've got. I've got two macros here. First one just shows us how to use the file name picker, which is application get open file name. Um, in this case, I'm only showing XLS files. So it's pretty simple. I'm only looking for XLS and these are some some text. So you'll notice select open file. When I click this, it's going to say select an open file and it's only going to show these files. So I'm going to hit cancel and just show you what's going to happen. So I've got, since I hit cancel, I don't return a file name because I don't return a file name. I just want to exit. So let's go ahead and do this again. Let's pick a file name. Hey, look, that's, that's the one I want. So when I do that, it's going to open that. And you'll notice that I now have that one is open. I'm going to hit F8 again. And it's going to say, you know, my active workbook, this workbook has been open and then I close it. So that's how you would open a workbook. So now let's do some magic here where we're going to take the workbook, the worksheet, get that all over into a, a new work into a new sheet on my original workbook. So uh, I declare these these objects. And so these objects are going to be all my base objects. And then I've got two that I've declared for my new object or the object that I'm actually opening with this file name. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to select this and we're going to go through this one at a time. It's going to give that to me. It's going to be the same there. Uh, it's not false. So I'm going to skip that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set a new workbook equal to the file name that's open. So you'll notice I did open that and it is my new workbook. So that is that guy right there. And then what I want to do is I want to go to the first sheet and grab the current region and set that equal to a range. Let's just do this real quick. We're going to go and show you what this looks like. It might be easier to understand if we're going like this. So I'm going to run that line of code. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like it because I forgot to add in cells here. So we're going to go cells 1, 1 because I was asking for a current region and current region is off of a range or a cell. So missed that part right there. We'll add that back in. And if we come here, it will show you. So this is my selection. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to grab that selection and I'm going to place it in this range. And you'll notice I got that error. Now, why did I get that error? I got that error because I was not, I did not use set because I, in order to assign an object to a area, you've got to do set range. So now I've got my variable in RNG. So now we're going to create a worksheet in my current workbook. Okay, you'll notice that that actually just showed up right there. We're going to hit name. I'm going to rename it. So you'll notice I renamed it to um, 1214 of one. And then I actually need to make this change here. And I can do that. Um, it's not pulling in because if I pull in, let's go now. Let's make that change here. If I pull in a date, it's only going to return a date. So you'll notice now I pulls in a date, time, and seconds, which is awesome. Now what, what I need to do is I need to set the range in my new work or my original workbook to the right size. So I just went through a bunch of stuff there, but let me just show you. So you'll notice that if I scroll all the way down, I think in the original there's 300 and, 300 and some change. I think it's 380. 
So I have to set this to the right size. And so if I come back here, you'll notice that this is the same thing here, which is the 3, 399. I've got to set those to the right size because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this range and make that equal to that range. So it's pretty much exactly the same as a copy and paste, but if I hit F8, All right, so what happened here, as we look at this one, it did not paste in all my stuff into the original workbook. Now here's my original workbook. Why did it do that? Because what I've got to do here is I've got to make this dot value. And then what that's going to do is it's going to set that, it's going to convert that to all the values. If I hit F8, now you will see I'm in the original workbook. There's my information, and if I go to the gas mileage, there's the same thing. And so it's a bit of, it's kind of equivalent to copying and pasting. And I typically will do this via an array, but I did it, did it via range this way. So it's a great way to add additional sheets. So let's do this one more time. We're gonna do it in real time. So I'm gonna hit F5. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that same sheet. And you'll notice that it, what it did is it went in and added a new sheet. It added that same data. It resized it based on the original size. And there you have your magic. So hope this is helpful and hope you enjoyed.